Hey guys, very exciting day today. It's new car day. Our brand new long-termer has literally just turned up. I'm super excited, but also there's a little bit of regret in there. I might have messed up here. Not with the car, it is brilliant, but the spec, I think I might have made a big mistake. Anyway, here it is, the Audi RS e-tron GT. It is quite a lovely looking car, isn't it? The GT is beautiful to look at. The problem I have with it though, like I said, is with the spec. Shout out to Audi. They said to me, why don't you order the car brand new, go on the website, choose your exact spec that you want, we'll deliver it to you straight from the factory, and then you can have the exact experience that our customers would have. Sounds great, but here's the issue. As standard, the GT is only available in Ibis white. If you want a pearl color or a metallic color, you've got to pay 950 pounds on top. And all of those colors are a little bit kind of subdued and a bit boring to me, but Audi also do what they call their exclusive colors. If you spend four and a half thousand pounds, you can have one of their brighter, more exciting colors. So I said, yeah, let's do that. Let's go for Zanzibar Brown. And I rang them up and they were like, we've never seen a GT in Zanzibar Brown before. And when you're done with it, we've got to sell the car and we're not sure people are gonna buy one in that color. So I was like, fine, let me do some research on the internet. I found a Zanzibar Brown Audi R8, it looked great. And I tried to convince them and they were like, nah, not having it. So I said, fine, let's go tactical green, but let's go for a more exciting interior. Audi will do red, blue, brown, or black interiors. And obviously red and green don't go, red and blue don't go, red and black is a bit boring. Let's go green with the brown interior. And then Audi were like, no one is gonna buy a green car with a brown interior once you finish with it. Be sensible. So I was like, fine, okay. Mythos black with a red interior. And that is exactly what we've got today. And actually, looking at it, maybe it's not such a bad choice after all. It's a pretty car, isn't it? Before we go any further, I wanna let you guys know about a brand new feature on Auto Trader that helps you choose the right home charger for your electric car. Hit the link in the description down below and it'll take you to a website where you enter your reg number or choose your car using the make and model filters. Once you're there, you answer a few simple questions. Do you have a driveway? Do you charge mostly overnight? Do you have solar panels? And do you want a customizable charger? And once that's done, it'll give you a list of the best home chargers available. And get this, it even has augmented reality so you can see what your chosen charger looks like on your garage wall. Here's one that I placed on it earlier. You can see exactly what that looks like. Very fetching. Yeah, I think I'll have that one. The website also has loads of articles and Q and A's to support you on your journey to switching to electric. Go check it out. Okay, let me show you some of the details on this club, which I think are pretty cool. If you've seen a GT before, you'll know that this front fascia is always finished in optionally anyway, a black color, but then you get this outer section, a mask, which is always in black. And if the car isn't black, then it's very, very noticeable. And to me, a little bit weird as well. But because the car is black, this section's black, this mask area doesn't look particularly out of place. To me, it's just a little bit more cohesive. Let's talk about the wheels now as well. This car is only available with 21 inch wheels. There's not much choice there, apart from having a silver option or for 300 pounds more, a black option, which I went for, you don't really get a great deal of choice. To me, having the black against the black paintwork is a pretty good shout. I also went for carbon ceramic brakes. These are quite heavy cars, around 2,200 kilos, and when you're driving them hard, the brakes are the first things that you start to notice. And although these cost 5,100 pounds extra, I think they're well worth it, actually. One slight downside is that the calipers are only available in anthracite gray. I would have loved it if they came in red, for example, to really match the interior color and also to show off the fact that you've spent 5,000 pounds on brakes. But yeah, gray is your only option. Apart from that, there's literally nothing you can do to the car to spec it, to make it look that different on the outside. So with that in mind, let's check out the interior. Okay, so here's the inside and it's pretty beautiful. I love this. It's probably my favorite bit of the spec. Like I said before, 
Audi do a variety of interiors. They also do a vegan leather, which is only available in black, but I went for the full meat package, which is the upgraded leather interior. You get red, blue, brown, or black options. Any of them would have looked good against the black paint, but I think this red leather looks absolutely tremendous. Apart from that, you get a choice of whether you go for a leather steering wheel or Alcantara steering wheel. I think I might have made a bit of a mistake there because the car has Alcantara in the doors and optionally an Alcantara roof lining as well. And I think having those three in Alcantara would have looked really cool. Apart from that, I went for this carbon fiber dashboard, which looks really nice as well. And then in terms of packs, technology packs, well, here's an interesting story. Audi were running short of chips, not just Audi, but everyone in the industry was running low on chips. And they said, don't go too crazy with your technology packs. Normally you just chuck everything in there, but I went for two out of three packs. The first is the parking assist pack, which cost about 1700 pounds. And that gives you a few things. As you can see up here, you get a bird's eye view of the car, which is really important for when you're trying to park and get the car straight in spaces first time. And it also has an automatic park assist feature which puts the car in and out of spaces although i'll never ever use that i also went for the tour pack which includes traffic sign recognition for recognizing what speed limit you're in and showing it on the screen so you, you never really speed that's the idea anyway and also adaptive cruise which is self-explanatory it follows the car in front and turns left and right to a certain degree to keep you in your lane but it also has swerve assist which works like this. If there's an obstacle in front of you and you turn, but you don't turn quite enough, the car will help you to swerve around whatever you're about to hit, which is a very cool feature that also I hope to never ever experience in the future. There's also a quite generous list of standard kit on the RS e-tron GT. This includes Audi's MMI Navigation Plus and Audi Connect Navigation System, which is responsive and packed with functionality. There's also that huge panoramic glass sunroof thrown in for nothing and a very good B&O 3D premium sound system, heated and cooled seats, plus the very cool looking Matrix LED headlights. So there it is, our brand new long-termer on the channel, the Audi RS e-tron GT. Do I regret the spec? Nah, not really. I mean, there's a couple of things I'd have done differently. I'd probably go for Zanzibar Brown if they would have let me but black over red is still a gorgeous spec and it turns a lot of heads. Believe me, I'm actually looking forward to driving this car and really looking forward to bringing you a lot more videos about what it's like to live with this thing, what it's like on track. So if you have any questions, make sure you fire them across to me in the comments down below. But for now, I suppose we better go and drive it. See you soon. One more thing guys, if you're thinking about going electric, there's a great event coming up at Blenheim Palace. It's called EV Live between the 7th and 9th of July. You can talk to experts, drive the latest electric cars, engage in Q and A's with people like me. There's food and music and games. Bring the children. I'll see you there.